right, these pieces are still made in the same small village in France where they were made for the first time back in 1925. We've got this coming along with the cast iron way to cook. There are 68 recipes, thank you chef, 60, 68 recipes with beautiful color photos. You also get the saute spoon with this, which is great. So you're getting the spoon, you're getting the vessel, and you're getting the cookbook. This pack up at lecrisset.com would be $515. We have it today at only $355, but that's still an investment price, so let's make it easier on you. Let's put it on five easy payments of only $71 each. So one payment of $71 gets this home this week. And then your shipping and handling is absolutely free. Look what we've got back in stock, Soleil. This yellow is always so popular. You can see the gradient color here and how beautifully it's darker at the bottom, gets lighter toward the top. Same with the lid. Soleil is always a sellout when we have it on the air. Please grab this while you can because this is always so popular. We have it in Marseille. This is the beautiful blue. Blue is called Marseille. Just lovely the way this gradient color comes together for you as well. Many of you collect this. This is my color. Makes my heart beat faster every time I see it. This is the cherry. And it's also the most popular. But strangely enough, our most limited color today, Chef, is flame. Fewer than 400 to go around in this flame. And Chef Nate Collier is here. He works for Le Creuset. He works in the uh, utensils and gadget division. That's is right. that correct? In addition to being a trained chef and a busy husband and dad, you've got a little girl at home you cook for a lot. I do. Not, well, two girls, I should say. Yes. <laughs> nice to have you here. This is an amazing vessel, and I love this one because this is the Goldilocks one for me. It's just the right size. Right. And, you know, David, you and I were talking about this earlier, and that's what I love about this, too, because we're giving you extra capacity. It's the same footprint as our five-and-a-half-quart round oven, yep. which is a very popular size. But you get that extra headspace, that extra capacity. You know, it's kind of like that friend that keeps giving you more but doesn't ask for anything back in return. <laughs> it doesn't take up extra space on your stove. Sure. So you crowd it up like this, and you've got room to spare. Oh, my gosh. It's just amazing. We've got this pack up so special today with that wonderful saute spoon and the cookbook. That cookbook is something I want you to spend some time with. I cook from it all the time. And it's great because it's, a, really gu it's it. a guide for cast iron. It's not just recipes. It'll show you some techniques. It'll show you some things that you might not be used to doing in cast iron, sure. like baking and other things. Um, and so let's get right to it. I want to show you something. We already seared off this whole pork shoulder right here, if you can see it. We got nice. that nice brown crust on it. Now, I know uh, summer's coming to an end, but you really want to get that barbecue flavor going. Right, right. You're from the south. Smoked barbecue has that nice uh, bark right on mm -hmm, the top of it. Mm -hmm. Another way to develop flavor if you want to do it indoors, get that nice sear on that, and you're going to get some really deep, rich flavors in sure. your stew. So we seared it right in here in the base, and the best thing about this cast iron, our proprietary sand enamel that goes right in here. It's a glass-like surface. Easy to uh, maintain, easy to clean. Here's our cooking liquid, just a little bit of beer, David. Okay. Right down in the bottom of the pan. And you can see already, we're gonna deglaze. All those brown bits at the bottom, that's flavor. That's right. going in your barbecue sauce. Without a doubt. You do not have to scrub that out at the end of the night. If you can come in here, you can see all those bits already coming off the bottom. That's gonna create great flavor for our sauce, and this is just incredible. Two for one, so you Smells clean up, so and you get all that flavor right in it. So what you would do, you would put that pork right back in there, some of your favorite barbecue sauce, homemade or jarred, Sure. and you're gonna get a delicious, delicious tender oh, barbecue pork it's shoulder. Be amazing. So don't miss out on this. Everyone's taking advantage of this today, and you're not gonna to wanna to miss this size vessel as we get into autumn time frame. Because when we get back into the autumn season of the year, you're gonna be doing soups and stews and chilies and chicken and dumplings, all those rib sticking meals that are Absolutely. so incredible. But even before that, you're going to be making the barbecue that Nate was just talking and about. You can see how tender this is right in here. We're just going to come up and it's already falling apart. <laughs> Beautiful. Already falling apart. What you would do is you take some of this, put it right out here on this bun that we've got for a sandwich, and I'll give And just start to build your big barbecue giant, hoagie right there. Giant sandwich. And look, it just pulls apart and spreads right as we get down there. That's so delicious. That's indoors. Like you said, fall's coming along. You can cook a whole pork shoulder in this, oh, David. It's amazing. I use this size pot to make my chicken dumplings a lot because I find that this one is just the right size for when I'm cooking for myself or cooking for a few friends that are coming over, whatever the case may be. Here's something else that I love. Check this out. This is the lid of the 6.5 uh, quart round. Look what's stamped right inside. We'll come in a little closer. That says France. This is made in the same small village, in fact, in the same foundry in France where the company started back in 1925. 90 years, David. That's amazing. Look at that. So every vessel will be stamped in France because that's exactly where they're made. And you can Here's see, a little video. You can see the factory. That is the molten cast iron getting put into individual sand molds, David. So those each are broken to get the cast iron out. 
We're talking one-of-a-kind pieces. They go through 15 different pairs of craftsmen's hands for inspection for each process. And, you know, I've been there a few times. I was just back there in July working on a few special things for our QVC friends. And I'll tell you, the love and the passion and the joy that these craftsmen put into this cookware, it's the same joy I hear you talking about using it when you well, cook at you know, home. It's, uh, I'll tell you a, a quick, cute story. I was at the mall here locally yesterday, and I went into that very fancy cookware store that we all are familiar with in the shopping mall. And I went up to the Le Creuset area because I just wanted to look around to see what they had. And the clerk came up to ask me if I needed any help or could she answer any questions about Le Creuset. And another woman was standing nearby who recognized me from QVC. And she turned on and she said, David knows everything about Le Creuset. You won't even tell him a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you can tell me anything. It's fine. But it was just, it was amazing because there were so many beautiful colors, so many great things to do. And the tradition of this brand is so rich. Everyone loves this brand because it has performed for our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents. This is the kind of piece that you pass down to someone. These pieces will long outlive all of us. That's the beauty of cast iron, and these are all porcelain coated cast iron. This is porcelain and enamel. It's beautiful, it's hardy, it's built to last. And you know, that's right, David. I love to hear you say that because that 90 years of craftsmanship and tradition that we have, it's backed up by a lifetime warranty. And you know what that means is you're not thinking about a lifetime warranty when you buy it. You're thinking about lifetime of cooking memories, of sharing these pots with your friends and family, of starting a collection, of giving a collection to somebody else. And you know you're going to be able to use it for forever and ever, really. We're frying Sunday chicken in yeah. here. This brings back such memories for me. My mom had a deep cast iron dish that she would cook Sunday fried chicken in, uh, oftentimes. This is an amazing piece. Every one of your vessels will come in this gorgeous flame-colored box. This is the signature look of Le Creuset, and when you take, a, a, rip open your QVC um, packing box, you'll see this smiling back at you. This is what's so amazing, because you see this, you open it up, and I'll tell you, every time one of these comes to the house, my heart beats faster, I start getting the sweats, because I just love it. I love getting it out of the box, getting it onto my stovetop, and more importantly, I love cooking in it. Thinking about every single thing that you want to cook oh, in it right away. So amazing. Now, this cookbook, we talked about it being such a must-have. We've got a soup going over here from the cookbook, and a whole lot more. You don't want to miss this cookbook. That having been included, to Nate's point, it's not only going to show you some great recipes, but it's also going to share with you some great information about cast and iron. technique. And so this is six and a quarter, or six and a half quarts, David, large enough for a full pot of soup. This is our chicken and barley broth soup. Now, my daughter just started preschool last week, and I have to say she was already homesick for the first time on Friday with an Aww. ear infection. Now, she got to eat popsicles all day, but it brought back memories for me. All I wanted to eat was soup and comforting food when exactly, I was sick at home. Exactly, exactly. And this cast iron, you get that low and slow cooking. It won't turn your vegetables to mush. It won't overcook anything. You get that low, slow rolling boil. And the best part with this capacity, you don't have to stop and wait and add your greens and batches to the soup. You just dump them all right in. They're gonna wilt right away. One step and you're done. And it's gonna be awesome. Let me go through colors again real quickly for you and tell you, we have this for you in Soleil. Now, Soleil is my yellow. This is a color that is always so popular. I don't want you to miss Soleil if you love it. We also have it for you in the Marseille, which is the blue, gorgeous. Here's my color, the cherry. I absolutely am in love with this cherry and it's our most popular color today. But if you want what we have in flame, it's my most limited color and now fewer than 350 to go around in the flame. We're very busy on the phones, and as you retrieve from the oven one of my favorite dishes on earth, the panade, which is in the cookbook. Let's say hello to Chris joining us right here in Pennsylvania. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi. How are you? We're, th we're doing very well and thrilled to meet you today. Chef Nate and I would love to know which color did we have for you? I picked up the Soleil. Oh, Wonderful. my goodness. You are going to absolutely love this. Is this your first piece of Le Creuset? No, actually, I have one other one. I believe it is the 15-inch oval skillet. Oh, the 15 also and three-quarter inch skillet. Yes, we've right. offered that before. Yes, ma'am. Right. And I had a question Please. about the skillet because I, I love the pot, and anyone who's thinking of it should probably get it. But I had a question about the skillet. I wondered if you had ever considered making a lid. A lid for the skillet. You know, it's something that we have considered. Um, the cast iron lids are a little bit uh, more difficult to make than some of the other ones, but I will say it is in consideration. Lidded pieces for ovals and squares are possible. Uh, so we'll uh, definitely take that back. Like I said, I was at the factory in July, so I can certainly talk to people about making a lid for it. That's a great, that's a great call out. I wanted to make some bone-in fried chicken in it, but I need a lid for that. You need to use the steam to help cook it. Got it. Right. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, my dear. Well, Chris, we're going to get your new piece of Soleil out to you right away. Did you use that Easy Pay today? I did, and David, I wanted to tell you I'm living here in Altoona. 
are you? My old stomping uh -huh. grounds. That's where I used to do news 22 years I ago. Know. Oh my goodness. Well, how lovely to meet you and ha have a chance to say hello. Be sure and tell everyone there uh, in the railroad city that we say hello, okay? I will do it. All right. Thank you, love. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye. So let's remind everyone great, great food, but this panade is one of the recipes in the book that you absolutely have to try. Now that's the chicken, but right here's the panade. So this is this is where French onion soup meets macaroni and cheese. Meets I grilled mean, cheese, meets everything. There's, David. There are caramelized onions, there's beautiful vegetable broth in this, rustic bread covered in cheese. I mean, it, it's amazing. It's and there's spinach in there too, isn't of there? Of course. There's some wilted greens in there as well. And uh, David, this is just one of my favorite dishes because it's so easy to make. You can use leftover bread, you can use leftover greens. Everyone's got that half cut mm. onion in the fridge. They used half of it slicing. Put it all in and it's just, it's now mm. how much flavor's in there just for those few simple ingredients. Unbelievable. Absolutely. This is huge. And the flavor and the caramelized onions, the flavor is so rich Absolutely. there. Absolutely, and that's just from the slow cooking of the cast iron. You can mm. cook them down slow and low without burning them, but mm. getting that delicious, delicious brown caramelized flavor in it while you're doing I'm it. I'm telling you what, the crew's gonna be all over this once we're done. And we this got six, and, six oh, and a half quarts Six of and a half quarts, we should be able to feed everybody. All right, now, we're frying up chicken. We're going, uh, we made the beautiful soup. So many great things you're going to be able to do in a vessel like this one. I use it so much in the autumn season of the year when I'm making my soups and stews and chilies. I love doing chicken and dumplings in this on a cold, blustery fall or winter day. Nothing's nicer when I have the day off and I can stay home and make chicken and dumplings and have that for my dinner. This is something so, so special. Don't miss out on this. This same pack up, the cookbook, the saute spoon, and the six and a half quart um, round French oven would be $515 at lecrusade.com. We have it today for five payments of only $71 each and free shipping and handling. I have Soleil, Marseille, my favorite cherry, and we have it for you in flame, but very limited in that flame now. Chef, as we wrap up, I know you want to turn off that uh, cornbread, so let's, this we baked in this. This is a double batch of cornbread, wow. easy release right there, golden brown crust. You can do everything in this pan. Yes, Six you and can. a half quarts worth of it. I'll just, save some of that panache. Just for you, looking David. for a little cheesy <laughs> crust. All right, we're going to check in with Mary, who's going to give you a quick update on today's special value while I have a little more of this. Chef, great to have you Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Thank you. Why, thank you, David. And hello, Blue Jean Chef. Meredith is showing us the today's special value. Ooh, and she's showing us the spare ribs that just fall off the bone coming out of the pressure cooker. Now, you know we've been talking about easy pay. You know that our today's special value is always a great deal.